A cathode ray is a beam of electrons. Suggest one way of controlling the number of electrons in the beam. The part of the CRO that is responsible for producing electrons is the electron gun. And this includes the heater, the cathode, the grid, and the tubes. The cathode and the anode are connected to the DC high voltage power supply. The main method to control the beam of electrons that is provided by the manufacturer of the CRO is the grid. The grid which is connected to a negative potential, so it has the same charge of the electrons, repels the beam of electrons and focuses it in the center. The amount of negativity of the grid controls the number of electrons that pass through it towards the anode and then the screen. So the main method is controlling the negativity or the potential on the grid. But other methods can be used. Also the temperature of the heater filament can control the number of electrons. As temperature increases, the number of electrons emitted from the cathode will also increase. A third possible method to control the beam of electrons is the amount of voltage supplied by the DC supply. When this voltage increases, the number of electrons and the speed of electrons moving from the cathode to the anode will also increase. Three possible methods we can use. He only needs one of them. We will answer the main method. Change the voltage on the grid. This will change the amount of repulsion to the cathode rays, which are the electrons. Another possible answer that can replace this one, change the DC voltage applied between the cathode and the anode. So the number of electrons will change. A third possible answer, change temperature of the filament, so the number of the electrons that are released from the cathode will change. The mark scheme gives the mark of the question for change charge or voltage on the grid. This is one possible answer. Or change temperature, heat, power, energy of filament, or cathode, or heater. This is another possible answer. A third possible answer is change cathode anode potential difference or cathode anode voltage. Only one of these answers is needed.